Hello, my people! And anybody else here just visiting, stopping by to see Al Pal. I am still in my bed, um, still in my sweatpants, because last night I was able to go to the gym and actually do weights for the first time in two weeks! If you follow me on Instagram, you know that is almost absurd. I would never do that, probably not even if I was on vacation. I was out for so long because I had surgery on January 6th. That's right, hit my deductible six days after the new year. So what the hell happened? Um, a week before that, I felt like this strain in like my lower abs and like close to my groin and I thought it was just cramps. I was like, oh, am I getting over my period or something? And then the next day I went and worked out again and I was like, okay, shit, this hurts. I'm walking around the store. Target, of course, look at me, I'm a girl. I was like, okay, I gotta go home. I can't stand this pain anymore. And I went to go take a shower and I saw this huge ass lump just lingering right here on my crotch, like about the size of an egg. Like, so I decided to call it Satan because it hurt like hell. And I went to urgent care on New Year's Eve and that doctor said, oh, it's probably a hernia. I was frustrated because I'm like, dude, I have so many goals, I'm going to be out for so long, blah, blah, blah. Didn't do anything New Year's Eve. And then went to a surgeon the next week. He didn't think it was a hernia. Did a couple ultrasounds. And then he was like, let's just get this mass out of your body. He did not give me a specific date that I should be recovered by. He told me just to listen to my body. And so I did. I did like an 80-20 rule on my diet because I knew that I didn't want to be super strict because that's boring when you're miserable and I really just stuck to my protein based off of my body weight and you know what happened my body bloated so here's the reality of surgery I can't even flex right now yeah holding a lot and yeah look at that I do have stretch marks like many other trying times in life I just had to remind myself that this is only temporary and I can make it as fast as possible so I just rested as much as I could and I fed it and I tried to stay as positive as possible my doctor said the cause of this was not actually from training he says this can happen from anything like it could be from me sitting like a freaking moron in my chair or even the way that I sleep and I just strained my ligament and my groin. In the past three years uh, during this whole fitness thing I've been in, I have been injured now really badly twice and the best advice I can give to you is fucking stop. I don't care if you are so excited about whatever goal or whatever you have going on this year, especially because we're still at like sort of the beginning of the year. You need to stop and listen to your damn body. Don't listen to the no pain, no gain. That's bullshit. If you're hurt, go to the fucking doctor. Your personal trainer isn't a doctor. I am taking this experience as um, a blessing more than a curse. I've learned a lot about the people around me, the people who support me, and I love them so much, especially you guys. You have no idea how supportive, like just your kind words and your checking up on me really means to me. You're the real heroes. Thank you guys. Thank you for being so awesome. I wish you guys all the best and let's kill it and be safe. I love you guys. I hope you guys are having an awesome start to your new year. Bye now.